At Zilla, we are dedicated to the innovation of caging, lighting, and equipment solutions that provide proper husbandry for your pet's long and happy life. To see our entire catalog, visit ZillaRules.com. Hey, what's up, Rattlers? So turtles are amongst the most amazing animals on Earth. They have adaptations which helps them to survive that we are learning about all the time. But did you guys know that turtles like this don't necessarily only breathe out of their mouths? I'm Dave Kaufman and I am obsessed with reptiles and I have been since I was nine years old. 25 years later, I made a trilogy of award-winning movies about them. Now my life is all about touring the world in search of them in wild places and checking out some of the most awesome breeding facilities and reptile expos while I'm at it. So come with me and join my reptile adventures. Turtles are amazingly awesome animals. They have evolved differently than other animals. They have adaptations that are completely different from other animals. There is no other animal on Earth like a turtle. Even the way that they evolved is different from other animals. Long ago in the fossil record, the early turtles that we can see back in the fossil record, they used to have elongated ribs and over the course of evolution, those ribs would flatten out and eventually would harden into the shell that you see modern turtles having today. But again, these animals are absolutely incredible and we are learning more and more about them with every study every year. In fact, there's a study going on in the Amazon right now where microphones have been put on turtles and we've actually recorded them singing to each other like whales underwater. They are just absolutely amazing creatures. And again, there's nothing on earth like a turtle. So turtles, like other land-dwelling terrestrial animals, they have a respiratory system and therefore they breathe air just like you and I do. And here in the summertime, this guy can breathe air just like you and I can. But in the winter, when all the lakes and the ponds and the streams and the rivers, they're all frozen over. I'm standing on about four feet of ice right now. So there's obviously no way that a turtle underneath all this ice can come to the surface and take a breath. So how are the turtles surviving hibernation under all this ice? The simplest answer to this is, turtles can breathe out of their butts. The technical term is cloacal respiration. So turtles, like all other reptiles, are exothermic, which means they're cold-blooded. What that means is that the turtle's body temperature is exactly the same temperature as its surroundings, whether it be in the air or in the water. If the water is 76 degrees, the turtle's body temperature is going to be 76 degrees. And here in the summertime, obviously the turtle's body temperature is gonna be much warmer, which means that in the winter when the air temperature is maybe about 15 degrees right now, but the ice and the water under it is so much colder. And what that means is that the body temperatures of the turtles underneath this ice are the exact same temperature as the water around them. And a cold turtle has a very slow metabolism. Essentially, the colder it gets, the slower its metabolism, which translates into lower energy and lower oxygen demands. Now, not all turtles are active in the winter. In fact, the majority of them go into a dormant state, and we know that's called hibernation. It was once accepted that all turtles burrow into the mud at the bottom and remain dormant for the entire winter. But now we know that that's simply not true. Check out this amazing footage shot by Chris Smith on a pond in southern Minnesota. This shows that even though turtles aren't breathing air from the surface, they can still be active underneath the ice. Even the snapping turtle seems to lumber around on the bottom just as they would during the warmer months of the year. And this kind of pokes a hole in the theory that all turtles remain inactive in hibernation in the winter. But even so, turtles still need to breathe underwater. Turtles still need to have oxygen exchange. And again, they're doing this through a process called cloacal respiration, essentially breathing out of their butts. And how they are accomplishing this is water is literally pumped into the cloaca to a gland called the cloaca bursae. That gland is lined with highly vascularized papilla, which extract the oxygen directly from the water. So basically, it's similar to how fish's gills work. 
It's actually taking the oxygen molecules directly out of the water itself. It's an amazing adaptation, which gives turtles an advantage in survivability and enables them to live in aquatic habitats all over the world. So here in northwestern Ontario, Canada, I'm at the most northerly range of turtles in North America. There's only two species here, snapping turtle and the western painted turtle. And this lake behind me is frozen for more months out of the year than it's open like this. And because in this climate here in Canada, life under the ice is more common than life in open water like this. So there's really no way that two exothermic reptiles like this would be able to survive such a long dormant period without cloacal respiration. So even on days like today where it's maybe about 16 degrees Celsius out here, it's really chilly for a summer day. Well, it's too cold for the two species of turtles here to even come to the surface and bask. So it raises the question, are turtles using cloacal respiration even in the summertime to stay submerged? There's so much work that needs to be done on this topic before we really fully understand just how amazing an adaptation this really is. Turtles can live where other reptiles simply cannot, and it's all because they breathe out their butts. explains how cloacal respiration really gives turtles in these northern regions a really big advantage over all other exothermic animals that really do need to shut down for the entire winter months. But I know what you're asking. What about turtles that live in more southerly tropical climates like here in Florida where they've never seen ice or winter before? Like this Florida red belly turtle here in the Everglades in Florida. This turtle has never had a dormant period because of the climate here in South Florida. So is this turtle using cloacal respiration like the ones up north do? And what about sea turtles in the ocean? It was thought that sea turtles could hold their breath for a long, long time. Some archaic reports even estimated that they could hold their breath for up to two hours. Well, we know that that's not true at all. They're not holding their breath. They are literally breathing out of their butts. So it's not just the turtles in northerly climates that use cloacal respiration. It's all turtles all over the world. And that is what makes turtles one of the most amazing creatures on this planet. So anyway, I hope you learned a little bit something more about these amazing animals and the amazing adaptations that they have. So be sure to hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and be sure to hit that subscribe button. And when you do, hit that bell so you never miss an episode. And until the next adventure, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession, and rattle on.